Hello, we are ready to film another video today. I have been on a little bit of a, a bit of a tableau break. Um, so it's been a while since I posted a video, but I'm very excited to do another one today. And this one goes out to Garav, and Garav is becoming one of my <laughs> best problem requesters. And keep them coming, Garav, because it gives me ideas to make more videos. So even if you send me a thousand, I'm, I'm happy to do all a thousand of them. All right, so here is the problem. He wants to do this kind of visualization. Let me go into drawing tool actually, where you have each of them split up and then under each one you have a bar chart. Now from experience straight away I can see that you cannot do this in this format in Tableau directly. You have to do one step in between. This data structure is kind of in a pivot format, right? And pivot meaning it kind of looks like this, right? Where you've got headings up here and then you got labels down here. So we have to change the structure because this information is kind of, it's, it's combined. So we need to create it in a different way. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. So I've recreated the data in Excel and let me just clean this up because I am very fussy that way. What we are looking to create is something more like this, okay? So if I just bring this here, right. obviously I'm going to do this in Tableau so you can see how it actually gets done in Tableau. But this is just sort of like a reverse pivot structure. Okay. Right. Oh, sorry, no score. Um, pass, fail, and this is a score. Right. This is more of a table structure because you can see all the information is going downwards and all the information that is the same is in a single column. You see here it's split, right? So we need to try and get rid of that split and convert it to this. So we can use the Tableau pivot function, okay? So I've already loaded this into Tableau, as you can see here. And what we're going to do, and I'm using the latest 2020 version, by the way, so this looks a little bit different. We're gonna go sheet one, Actually, maybe I'll zoom in so you can see because this people get confused here. You want to click like around this region here, right? Because if you click up here, you end up clicking this button. And if you click down here, you end up renaming. So it gets kind of a bit fussy. So you want to click around the middle so I can actually, oopsie, there you go. So you can actually select the entire column, as you can see. And I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and I'm going to press the other one as well. Right now, if you have multiple ones, like 10 of them, you can go all the way across, right? And highlight all 10. Now, what happens is when I right click on here, I can see pivot, right? And that's actually unpivot if you think about it, right? And if I do that, you can see it's automatically put it into that structure we talked about before. So if I sort this, you can see it's more of a structure like this, all right? So now when we go into sheet one, it's going to place it into that structure. So what we can do, and actually I'm gonna go back one step. I'm gonna rename these. So let's call this pass fail, and let's call this score, okay? Now the benefit of doing this is that when the data comes in in Excel, you don't have to clean it each time. When you open up Tableau, it'll automatically apply this, okay? So if I come in here and I start adding more, it will just read it automatically. Let's go in here, and we're going to go into sheet one. Now we're ready to do some visualization. So in the question, we had this. So what I see straight away is I've got this label, and then here is actually, if I zoom in, it will actually, that's actually pass, P, and that's fail, right? So what I can do is if I go into Tableau, get out of my drawing tool, I can build that straight away. So I can go subject into columns, as you can see, and then I can do pass fail straight after it. So you can see now it's put it into that structure. Now the score is going to be the vertical. So I can grab score and put it in here. And there we go. Okay. The layout is a bit different because this is now at the top as opposed to being at the bottom, but actually it's a better way of doing it so that they're not overlapping or competing, right? Uh, most likely you probably want to differentiate between the two pass and fail. Pass is probably going to be green, fail is going to be red, something like that with a label, and there you go, right? That's it, so pretty simple. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.